I would like to talk about two image editing programs today. One is called Be Funky Image Editor and the other one is Photo Sketcher. So let's start with our Be Funky Image Editor. Select Photo Editor. Upload an image. I'm going to this time I'm going to upload something from my computer. Okay. Here we have uh, our cat picture. And what I want to do is uh, create a a nice watercolor effect uh, today. There's many other choices. If you look in the uh, artsy section, as you can see, there are many things you can do cartooning effects, gouache, impressionists, so on. So let's just focus on watercolor for today. And as you can see, there are two. Uh, programs that you have to pay for if you get the paid version. Uh, I'm going to use the free version here. I'm not too happy with the effect here. It's a little too chunky looking so I'm going to go into the uh, settings mode and make some adjustments. I'm going to bring this back about halfway Add a little more detail. <clears throat> and I think I'm pleased with that effect. So next thing I'm going to do, we'll check that out. All right. Next thing I want to do is to uh, select a frame. And there are many choices of things you can do on that as well. But I'm just going to go just for a simple uh, border type frame. See the outer thickness, I'm going to make that a little smaller. The inner thickness, just a little smaller. Okay, that looks good. All right, so uh, we can just save that. Go to save. I'm going to save it to my computer. And I'll just give, it a, give this a new name. We can just uh, indicate that this is made from Funky, so we can say Funky. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG file. <clears throat> and let me look at that and see if that came out. Yes, there we go. That looks good. Now we're going to look at the program using a uh, fast stone image viewer here uh, called Photo Sketcher. Okay. Now I have in my edit mode here, I have the different programs loaded. And Photo Sketcher is right here. Depending on the speed of your computer, the Photo Sketcher might be a tad slow, but it is a free program, so you know it's something you might be willing to put be putting putting up with. Uh, okay, let's see now. This is our starting image. I'm going to go in here to the drawing parameters, and what I'm going to select now is a. Let's see what we have. We have lots of choices, but I'm going to focus. I think today on the pencil sketch, I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. Let's just go ahead. I'll go ahead with that first one here, pencil sketch one. Okay, and then the next step is to simply go draw. The image to start with is an uh, iPhone image, so it's uh, the resolution isn't as big as some of my other camera shots. 
so it will process a little quicker. And here we have the end result. We'll move this out of the way so you can see it. Uh, that's rather nice. Uh, you know, I think I want to check out one of the other pencil sketch modes here. Let's try this one, see if this does maybe a little better job. Let's try that one. Well, that's a little different. Okay, well, it's just a matter of taste, whichever you prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go to File, Save Image As, or Control S. And <clears throat> okay, that looks good. Uh, we could change the name later if we want, or just leave it if you want. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And let's move this and see what it looks like on the desktop now. And there's our saved uh, drawing, and we can make it fill the screen if we want. Or just we can do a control R in this program, which will allow me to adjust the size. There we go. And there's our finished cat. So remember, Be Funky and Photo Sketcher are both free programs. So uh, they're pretty nice. They have a lot of capabilities and things you can do that might be even a little different than Photoshop if you do have Photoshop or some comparable program. So uh, enjoy using it. Have fun.